So I've had enough requests for uh, these um, 3 8 inch Ampico drawer hoses uh, with a spring inside that I finally decided to go ahead and do some experimenting, see what I could come up with. Um, the hose that's in the the hose that uh, Darrell Armstrong sold was 14 and a half inches. This particular hose is uh, 15 inches. Uh, this spring, uh, which is too short for this job, but uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like, um, is number 29 wire, or I mean 29 thousandths wire. I don't know what that is in piano technology, but it's 29 thousandths. Um, and after some experimenting, I found that uh, it required uh, approximately 12 and a half inches of coil on the inside of this. I don't know if this is going to fit within the screen here all the way. It looks like it just about fits. Um, so that you end up with about an inch uh, on either end. And this is a little long actually. I'm going to be cutting this. Um, the diameter, I didn't actually measure that until just right now, the diameter of this uh, piece of metal here that I use for making the spring uh, is 29 128ths. Um, I experimented with a number of different sizes, uh, starting with a quarter inch rod and then uh, grinding that down until I got uh, this size, which seems to be just about perfect. I won't say perfect because who knows what perfect is. But uh, anyhow, the question was, how do you get the darn thing into the into the tube? And that was a real problem. Trying to come up with trying to come up with a way. I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here because this is the mark that I put on here for 12 and a half inches. So this is the length of the spring that I'm going to put inside. So what I ended up finding, I ended up putting a little lip on there. If I can get that too close without you going out of focus. Put a little bend in there right there. And then I took a piece of this and I put a notch in that. And then I feed this on there. And get that into the notch. And then start winding up the spring. I'm just I'm just holding it at the end here, and I'm winding it up. And then it slips on very easily. All the way to just about at the end. And just work it on, work it on up till it's all the way in at the end. And then push this down and then watch this end right here till it gets to within about an inch. And you could still curl this back up. And I'm twisting that up, holding the tubing steady. And I get it to within about an inch, it's right about there. Might have gone actually a little bit too far on this one. You can always back it back out. You just have to twist twist this and back it back out if it goes in too far. And then undo it and pull it out. And the spring is coming right to here on this end. And right to here on this end. And if you don't think that this makes a difference in the way that this tubing will function in the drawer, you're sadly mistaken. Here's a piece without the tubing and I'm just going to close it like this. Of course in the drawer these two pieces are about this far apart. This is only a 14 inch piece but you get the picture. All right? I mean and no matter what I do all right, I, I, and also you got to remember that where these connect this 
this bends a little bit at this end and it bends a little bit at this end so that exaggerates the 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 bend in the middle instead of it being like this because it's not like this inside the piano it's like this inside the piano so of course that's going to exaggerate the pressure on the bend okay? and you can see that it only gets to about here and the drawer closes down to right about here so you can see that you know that's just going to pinch that right in half and even if you were to put a 90, I should have I should have got out a 90. Because what's been done over the years is that I should have got myself out of 3 8 inch elbow. Um, you'll know even if you had a 3 8 inch elbow, you'll find that because of this angle up here, even if you have a 90 degree angle elbow in there, um, it still collapses over time. So However, this, on the other hand, okay, you can tie this puppy in a knot. And there's no kinking. You could try all you want to get this to collapse, and it is not going to collapse at all ever all right so i don't know when i'm going to have time to actually start making these things up but uh at least i've got the process down now